Video power. Hi, I'm Johnny Arcade, and this is a half hour of video power. Video power is all about video games. This is the only show that's going to give you everything you could possibly ever want to know about the whole world of video games. We'll be going right to the sources of the hottest new games, talking to game inventors right in their own programming labs. We'll also interview game counselors, people who do nothing but play games all day long, and they get paid for it. How do I get a job like that, right? We'll also be checking out our favorite TV and movie stars to find out what games they're playing. If it has anything to do with video games, we've got it. Or we'll get it. Just for starters, today we're going to go over some tips on Ninja Gaiden 2 and Revenge of Shinobi. Wah! The first tip is from Game Players Magazine for Ninja Gaiden 2 for NES. In stage 5-2, go for the one-up behind the lower globe. But watch how Ryu glides from one edge to another. Wait until his enemy gets as far away as possible. Then attack. Next up, Revenge of Shinobi for Genesis. Here's the way to get yourself an unlimited supply of shuriken. Select shuriken. Now press A, B, and the C buttons as fast as you can. Faster, faster, keep punching the buttons until the infinity symbol appears under your number of shuriken. <laughs> All the shuriken a player could want. The trick is fast fingers. Now, at the end of stage five, you'll encounter a giant missile carrier. If you want to destroy it, you have to knock out all the flashing red spheres that keep popping up. But be careful. Be very careful. Don't get nailed by the sparks that are flying at you. Jump over them all and you'll be fine. But timing is very crucial. Okay, so it might not be easy, but if you do get it, you got it. The half hour's almost up, and um, I gotta get back to my games. <laughs> 